Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Magical Diary Horse Hall. I'm Lady Shura. I'm Shrine Morning, and we are starting this week. We are starting this week. Um, you start that week like no yes. other. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to do a black, then I'm going to sleep. You don't want to fail gym again. No, I don't want to fail gym again. So annoying. <gasps> um, then I'll do another... No, I'll it's do up to you. Okay. It doesn't really matter. We have such high skills in most of the things. Do I have enough skills for my exams, though? Really, you don't need to get the high skills for the exams. You're pretty much good from here on out. Really? Oh, no, I wake up suddenly it's in just the middle for of the show. night. I woke up in the middle of the night. I know you did. I'm not sure why. I thought I heard something. Is it just Virginia we again? We always think we... Oh, Wait. something actually happened. Just then, the door to the room creaks open and Virginia slips inside. Virginia? Eek! Oh, you're awake. There's something going on out there. Meh? <laughs> I had to get up and pee, but when I was coming back, there was all these weird noises. Like what? I don't know, like someone decided to play floor hockey in the middle of the night? Or a whole domino chain of folding chairs falling over? What? What's going on? I have no idea. I couldn't tell where it was coming from, and I didn't want to wander around alone at night trying to figure it out. Fair enough. I guess we should... I guess. I guess we should guess just we try should. to get back to sleep then. <laughs> Probably. It's not so easy to get to sleep while wondering and worrying about what might be happening outside. Yeah, I totally would not go back to sleep. I'd be like, oh, let's all go together to check it out. Like, duh. Scooby-Doo. So annoying. We're getting up and ready for the day when someone knocks on the door. Just a minute. Oh, it's Isabel. There's no rush. It's only me. Listen, there was a problem last night, and the staff are still busy dealing with it. Because of that, all classes for today are canceled. We are passing oh, really? the news. Is that what Virginia was talking about? Today was my gym day. No fair, it's not even a class. What happened? I'm not sure. I heard that someone tried to blow up the school. What? what? Or maybe it was a fire. I'm not sure. What? That's Those a big difference. Those are two difference. very different things. <laughs> someone trying to blow up the school and a fire are two very different things. Someone either tried to blow up the school or there was just a little fire. Are we in danger? No, no, there's nothing to worry about. The if someone's trying to blow up this school, there's nothing to worry about? Uh, I guess we're protected with magic? I don't know. You could relax for the day, or you could study for your exam on Friday. There's an exam on Friday? Um, did I forget to tell you that? Yes. Yes? <laughs> Sorry. You should be. Excuse me, I have more doors to knock on. I will see you later. Thanks for letting us know. She's so formal. That, I know. Uh, girl. She is. Ellen and I go back into the room. I guess we have the day off then. This is creepy. You didn't see anyone out last night. Oh, you didn't see anyone out last night, did you? No, but I didn't go very far. I was only down the hall. Who would want to blow up the school? Maybe it's Virginia. That's just a rumor. That might not be what happened. That's true. It could be Virginia. Something big happened, and if they canceled every if they canceled every class, yeah. So with no classes today, what shall I do? Oh, another option I like guess this. I'll just study because I only have two stress. And were you planning to sleep this week? Yes. Uh, no, I did sleep already. I was planning to go to the gym. Oh, I see. Okay. In the afternoon, runners are sent around to summon us to the gym. I was supposed to be in the gym today. <laughs> <sighs> Hello. I'm sure you all have many questions, and so do we. I will do my best to tell you what I can. Last night, there was a fire in Falcon Hall, targeted on a student bedroom while the occupants slept. We believe this fire was started deliberately. However, it was quickly detected and no one was injured. Unfortunately, we don't yet know who's responsible. We are questioning individuals at the moment, but if you have any information about these events, please speak to a teacher immediately. At the moment, we do not know if this was a prank that went wrong or a deliberate attempt to injure one or more students, or worse. Or While worse. we are investigating this, please stay safe. A fire in your sleep? You could die of smoke inhalation without even waking up. All your magical power is useless if you're not awake to use it. All right, well, at least it wasn't someone trying to blow up the school. It was just someone trying to set some guy yeah. on fire. Who cares? This is awful. It really is. As the student population empties into the hallway, Virginia grabs her arms. Did you hear? They think Donald did it. What? Donald? Why? I don't know. Because he's always causing trouble? Because they can't figure out what happened and he's sneaky enough to fool them? We've got magic. It's usually easy to prove who's responsible for things. If they're still investigating, then something weird's going on. If they pin this on Donald after everything he's done, he's going to get expelled. They'll wipe his brain for sure. So they're just using him as a scapegoat? I think so, because I really don't see Donald doing something like this. Even if it was a prank, I like he would never endanger someone, would he? This stuff seems very untrustworthy. Yes, it definitely does. 
But Logan's his roommate's twin brother. It wouldn't make any sense. Oh, okay, so... It was Luke. L Logan's room. Or, yeah, Luke was the two. Yeah. 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 It was Jacob and Logan's room that got set on fire. Jacob. All right, now that's interesting. Jacob. Jacob. Now, there's a bit of a conflict going on there, isn't there? Mm. Their bedroom door, not the whole... We what? Why just the door? Well, it's the same thing, isn't it? If they hadn't caught the fire in time, it would have been. There's nothing we can do about it, though. No, we'll have to wait for more information. I hope he's okay. Donald's a horrible brat, but he's still my brother. Oh, shut up. You hate him. <laughs> the teachers won't throw him out without proof, will they? Well, they hardly follow logic. Oh, no. The next morning, someone knocks on our door. I think that's you. Guess who, ladies? Donald! Hey, they let you out? Yeah, it's all good. So what happened? Weird story, actually. Apparently, Barbara roams around the halls at night, practicing ninja skills. <laughs> what? Who okay. Is, who is Weird Barbara, story indeed. And why is she practicing ninja skills? <laughs> what? And what does this have to do with the fire? Yeah, I'm really confused. She's a ninja now? Who's a ninja? Barbara likes to practice throwing knives when no one's in the halls to get in her way. So she does it in the middle of the night. That is dangerous. And still has nothing to do with the fire. That still doesn't sound safe. What's that got to do with the fire? Good question. So, she's doing her ninja routine. She ducks and rolls, strikes a pose, and she fires a little spark at a door she's using for a target. Except, here's the weird part. The rest isn't weird? The door bursts into flame, goes up like a torch. Our doors are that flammable? I knew the teachers wanted to kill us. <laughs> they shouldn't be. That's why it's weird. This story sounds fishy. Hey, ask the professors if you don't believe me. She gave them memories and everything. Barbara acts so tough all the time, but one little surprise and she ran like a rabbit. Actually, I guess she did good. She was startled, but she thought ahead enough to make a bang and wake up the Falcons before she ran. Otherwise... Well, it's a good thing she did that. You know, she could have, like, helped out or told a professor or something. She could have set off the alarm. Yeah, and when she heard... Oh, that's you. Sorry. And when she heard the rumor I might be expelled, she decided to come forward, so I guess that's kind of brave after all. Are they going to expel her? Nah, it was an accident. She had no idea that would happen. There was something wrong with the door, and that wasn't her fault. But what was wrong with the door? Nobody knows. Must have been a random magical fluctuation or something left over from a spell or prank in the past. Yeah, well, I'm only going to say this once, so you'd better appreciate it. I'm glad you're okay. I didn't know random magical fluctuations just happened like that. Me either. Aww. Come on, we need to get ready for class. Yeah, I should go. So Donald's off the hook, but it's a very strange story. Barbara just happened to cast a spell in the right place at the right time, and the door just happened to catch fire? There's got to be a plot behind it. It sounds exactly like the kind of thing that Rose and Wasp would do. And that's right, we haven't heard from them lately. But who ordered it and why? Even if she is a member, Barbara wouldn't know. <laughs> Hmm. Lots of interesting ideas going on here. So, do you think Kyo did it? Or ordered it? Or whatever? Could be. We'll have hmm. to find out more later. I report to the room on schedule for my exam. Here we go! Oh, lovely. You're looking at a wall. In order to pass this exam, you must reach the exit before your opponent does. Oh no, I have an opponent. Good luck. I've never had an opponent before, have I? Not before. So you should probably save before you uh, get oh, going, because okay. this is going to be one of the tougher ones. It shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't be that hard, but... I'm scared. It's okay. Don't fret. I'm fretting. Oh god! Is it Logan slash Luke? No, it's just a hooded figure. We don't know who it is. A hooded figure enters from the west. This must be the opponent. Now, I'm going to talk you through this one because it's kind of um, interesting. So you could compete with him to try to get to the exit, or you could try negotiating with him. Oh. So if you click on his option right there, you can talk to him. He appears to be an Iris Academy student, but his identity has been disguised. Face, hall badge, all hidden. Why aren't we disguised? Yeah, I was just going to say that. Like, what? Very strange. So talk Maybe to him? he's just an apparition. Maybe. But actually, I don't think he is, so I'll just talk to him. Um, excuse me? Hello? Be quiet. What if figure casts a spell? The air swirls around you in a gentle breeze. It seems to be blowing to the south. And you can try talking to him again. 
Look, can we talk about this? Stop trying to distract me. Uh, Alright, so you're gonna wanna head to the south. You have to talk to him three times before he'll actually talk to you. Oh. Alright, you should have a chance to talk to him here. I don't want to have to fight you. Can't we work something out? Like what? So we have some options here. Uh, some of them are interesting like that, as you can see. Oh. But the one you want to pick is a battle of the wits. Oh, I'm sad. Yeah, horse. You can't use your horse ways here. <laughs> oh. The thing it actually gets you cute points if you try doing it. Sweet, man. I could always use those. And But I guess I'm married, so it wouldn't be good. These tests are supposed to challenge our minds, right? But can we do that without getting hurt by throwing spells around? Oh, what? Okay, whatever. Um, we can play a game. A battle of wits. If you win, I surrender and lose the exam. If I win, you leave. Alright. Let's play dots and boxes. Oh god, I hate dots and boxes. He inscribes the game board onto the floor and we begin connecting the dots. Oh cool, I don't actually actually play. <laughs> I cleverly employ a double cross strategy, leaving partial chains for him to complete but ensuring that I come out with the most boxes in the end. You win. Thanks for playing. No problem. Enjoy your exam. Okay. He raises his hands over his head in surrender and is teleported away. And so now you just have to solve the exam. I think you have to have 45 smart in order to uh, win the battle with him. Oh. I have just 45. And if you don't have 45, you can beat him. You just have to use your other spells to gain an advantage. I think it's usually best if you teleport him away. Ah. That's usually bulletproof. Especially when you get near the end there. I think the best time to do it is near the door. Wait, I find myself in a different direction. Yes. There's actually a trap in the middle of the uh, room there. So it causes you to go the wrong way. And actually, if he goes there first, oh, he goes the wrong way. So it's kind of interesting. I climb the stairs and emerge from the dungeon, blinking in sunlight. Congratulations, Horace. For succeeding in your quest, you receive nothing. Five imaginary and merits. And another nothing. Another five imaginary merits for, for negotiating an additional victory. Magic serves best as the tool of a clever mind. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other students to tend to. <sighs> I deliver the mail, and then I study. Study with Minnie. If she's here, that is. No, she's not here. Minnie, where did you go? Maybe she's visiting Jacob. Maybe he's, like, distraught oh, maybe. or whatever. Maybe she's confronting Kyo. Oh, that could be, but I don't know. She doesn't seem to confront him. Nah, ever. she's not the type. Definitely not. All right, so that's another <sighs> week down. Oh, man, I need to see where this is going next week. I, I know can't things wait. are getting heated. I'm scared. <sighs> All right, we'll have to find out next week, everyone. Bye.